<clears throat> da, 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 da. Hi everybody, Scrubcrest here. We're heading back into Black Book. Uh, last time we met the Vakul, got some orders to go do stuff. Hopefully they don't turn out too violent. Found out that Yutakia is uh, Pahom's daughter, who apparently he promises a sacrifice and then refused to give up. And that's why all the brine's been taken away. So yeah. Awkward. It's gonna be awkward later on. But mm, it's the journey to a mermaid friend. So, also was horribly disappointed by his palace. It is not shiny and pretty at all. <sighs> it's fine. Okay. Well, let's get in and start recording. Do, 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 do. Let's continue. We're back at the Izba. At least we should be. Izba? Izba! <laughs> Grandpa, I'm back! Hey, Gramps! Vasilisa, I did some divinations the other day. Learned that Vakul is holding you captive. And then yeah. I went to the Church of the Trinity, did what needed to be done. That's why the water demon let you go. I thought he let me go so I could do his bidding. The prayers may not be the reason. He had a task for me. Yeah. You tell old Yegor about the events of recent days. Mm. So that Miller was Pahom. Interesting. Hmm. A Vaginoi doesn't forget his subjects. Be on the lookout with this demon. He may try to pull one over on you. He does kick his butt. I don't trust demons, just as you taught me. Except for uh, except for Proshka. I trust him. Not really, but I do. <laughs> and that's why you helped the Rusalka. Yeah, because I'm just nice. That is not the same as a uh, changeling girl. Nah, okay. We need to be careful in our line of work, or you'll wind up beneath the earth. It's fine. I'm tough. Anyway, we need to think about something else. Mm. Ask the bandits about Vakul. They might give you some advice. Hey, that's a quinky thing. I gotta talk to the bandits because of you, Vakul. All right, Grandpa. All right, well. What kind of bandits make offerings to him? I think river bandits, not a rare sort mm. nowadays. They may be escaped convicts or former factory workers. Wait, are these pirates? On the old river Saskatchewan? No, I'm <laughs> You're a powerful knower. They can't hurt you. Curse them if they try anything. Don't let them catch their breath. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hee ho, hey ho, coming down the plains, stealing wheat and barley and all the other great things. Okay, sorry. I got, I got pulled in. <laughs> I'm a little salta. Do you think we can help her? I doubt we can. She's dead already, but, um, I think you only have one get at a dead free card, and that you're going to use on your, uh, soon-to-be hubby. The Rusalka? She's dead already. <laughs> How can you help a dead person? Uh, old Yegor? I became a witch to save my honey bunny. So. Mm. She mad. Well, I'm sorry, Vasilisa. I spoke without thinking. I don't think she has friend that can help her. Thank you. But I found her name. It must mean something. You're saying she's Pahom's daughter? Mm. Let him think about it. Maybe Pahom can save his daughter. Can he I cares enough. Can I her from the Vodinoi? Mm. That spirit holds on to his droners until their early time is up. Maybe I should fight him. He might let them go sooner, uh, for the right price. Sometimes, of course, they can be saved with prayer. Okay. But the you know, who are weaker than ours have a lower price. What price will Makul ask? <laughs> no one knows. Okay. You can try it if you want to. But the seal takes priority. Okay. Don't okay. you forget that. I know. Do you know keep his promise about the salt and the seal? I mm. dealt with him once, also at a mill. 
did everything mm. he had to, but also took all that he could. <laughs> A powerful short. So similar to, you know, how we talk about the Fey. They'll stick to their bargains, but you better be sure that bargain is uh, worded just right, or they'll take a mile. Now it's your turn. You'll beat him. Never doubt that. Okay, well, okay, let's do this. Time to go. All right. That pot house of yours isn't far from Salatnova, to the west of Kusheva. Krasova isn't far. One drone okay. asked me to help him. Okay. I'll get back home in the meantime. God help you. Hooray! Okay. It's Pester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's fine. Meaningless. Uh, send. Meaningless. I'm just gonna keep with this. I. It feels right for now. I wish I could get more. Oh, Shka. What do you have to say? Maybe bring me a jug of milk. A whole jug. Are you very hungry, Proshka? And some pruno, as much as possible. Okay. Instead of bothering me with all that questions. Oh God, Proshka. Yes, Vasilisa. <laughs> Why won't you treat our guest with mash? Here you go, Proshka, lad. Take it. Thank you, Grandpa. What a nice guy. Since when are you getting along so well? Since the time Proshka saved all our books. Oh, that's nice of him. Yeah, the mice is all over. They ate your books, you know? And I caught them all. So it turned out not a bad thing to have any caught at home. He caught all the mice. We don't, we don't need the equipment for that, though. We could just get a real cat. What else do you want to know? I guess this one is a smart cat, so we can actually ask them stuff. How are you doing, Proshka? What happened next? How did you live in a church? Ah, Vasilisa. Hard to remember. As if all the memories were gone with the wind. So, mm. you don't remember anything? Just a mm. too little. Ah. Now, what you're looking at. Try to live such a long time, and then we'll see how good you are with all this remembering business. Am I gonna have to do a personal quest for you, Proshka? I do remember living in a rich house where I always sat. As a susetka, I guess. And huh. I looked over all three sides. All four, you mean? No, no. I remember this quite well. Three of them. Our side, one below, and one above. And then there was a wind. It blew at all times, cold, northern. And river shells whispered me something. Huh. Sounds eerie. No, it was all right. But it is not the whole story. Huh. Just give me some time and I will have it all. Okay. What else do you want to know? Pruno. You need a Pruno. You're undead. <laughs> it's, that's true. The undead need a treat from time to time, don't they? All right, so you can enjoy it, you just can't. It doesn't do anything for no. you. They sometimes treat Susietkas and the parents. Why okay. am I any different? You are my Susietko. What else do you want to know? I'll talk to you later. Know. We'll talk later. Okay. And also, you've been doing a lot of work for us, so. All right, anything new? I don't think so. Let's go see who our visitor is. God bless, Igor Yevlampovich. Oh! Yes, it's the abbot. Okay. Howdy. I thought you decided never visit my izbai ever again. Well, I'm in charge now. Oh, if God wished it so, I wouldn't. This okay. place of yours scares me something terrible. I can just feel shorts looking at me from the forest. True. Necessity brought me here. No one can help me but you. All right, okay. What happened? Is someone's dead? Oh, no one. Praise the merciful Lord. Well, at least no man was killed. In a cemetery chapel, we found a cow that's been missing for several months now. Oh! Sure, I remember that cow. That's the one we couldn't bring back from the leshy. Okay. It's a Wait. good thing that you found it. There's missing cows all over the place. I read one of my achievements before I got on it. It said cow level was my achievement. And I'm like, moo, 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 moo. <laughs> well, it depends on how you look at it. It's been found dead. A horrible sight. Mm. I heard that the chapel has been haunted lately. Right. Weren't you the one who forbade me to exorcise the demons there? Why don't you tell me some more about that silly superstition of mine? Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to... Well, what can I say? 
I was wrong, Igor Ivanovich. Ah. Help us, fools. Okay. Well, I'll be waiting for you in my church. You know, he's willing to admit he's wrong. I think we should inspect that cow. I have a bad feeling about it. Okay. Oh. No, All to feel good. Grandpa. Let's get going. Let's do that first, and then we'll uh, do the other stuff. Okay. Garden next to the Isba. There's some sort of noise next to our Isba. Could it be the church from the cemetery? Let's go. Yegor's chorts fuss in the backyard, arguing and chattering <laughs> like a flock of magpies. You notice that some of them smear radishes with soot, while others wash them off, trying to outdo one another. I don't want to observe them. Having noticed your interest in the chorts, old Yegor tells you of an old theory of his. According to his logic, a learned chort is better than three unlearned. Hey. I don't know. See what that said. Kuldoons and radishes. There was also a time when two Kuldoons wanted to see who was stronger. Both of them turned a white radish into a black one, but only one of them was able to turn it back. The winner made the loser eat his radish right then and there, skin, dirt, and all, even without salt. And of course, the winner became the head of his village. Of course, why wouldn't he? <sighs> okay, Vodjanoi's wedding. People were known to be dragged to the bottom if they removed their cross. The Lord's own cross protected from all misfortunes. A young lad was swimming as he often did when the string of his cross tore and sank right to the bottom. Beneath the water, he saw a wedding of Vajanois. Tables were filled with food, but there was no bread. They sat him down and offered him refreshments. He noticed many other young men who were servants. The lad cried, let me go for Christ's sakes. My mother is waiting for me at home. The murky spirit told him, as if we needed you down here. We have more than enough guests. Go and take some precious stones as parting gift. He took the stones and woke up on the shore. The stones melted in his hands. And they were as they were actually pieces of ice. Okay. Well, that turned out better than it could have. All right. <laughs> then let's go to Mikhail's Crossing. And we're going there again. <laughs> How many times will I visit this place? It says in the thing. The I mean, you live right down the hill. filled with hundreds of sounds. <laughs> Demons and wood chorts swoop under the wide fir branches. Owls hunt for nimble mice. Graveyard grasses whisper something from beneath the gloomy silhouettes of the Galbets at Mikhail's crossroads. Old Yegor stops and crouches down, looking at something on the dry earth. Well, we're going to trust him. He's pretty experienced. Look, all this time and your circle is still visible? I wonder if I can find mine from the time I took the hat. There must be circles all over this place. Who knows how many circles were once drawn here? Uh, so many sins. I didn't commit any sins. What do you think we need icons and churches for? Mm. I have enough sins to bury Christ himself. Do you think any Khaldun can manage it? They say uh -huh. there's no saving for your etniks. Etniks, yeah. An evil sorcerer, sorcerer cursed to return as a ghoul and haunt the living. I believe they speak true. I imagine that's why they supply us with chorts. For us to learn to control them. Mm. The church and the icon, it's so people aren't afraid. Okay, so like a balancing act. Like, you need evil in the world, so they send you chorts so you can learn how to control your own evil. And control evil in general. And then they give you church and icons so people don't panic and freak out all the time. Could it be that hmm. I will draw a circle here with a student of my own one day? Maybe. God willing. Hey, let's go to the fair. Since we're near, I have lots of money. Holy crap, I have $321. Am I recording properly? Hold on, let me panic. Ah, good, okay. I panicked properly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go visit. We, I actually have money for once. I've been saving up, apparently. At the crossroads hmm. of two trade routes, you see the annual fair. Despite the hmm. late hour, trading is still taking place. Perhaps you might buy something for your journey. A multitude of goods can be found. Prianix, as well as a variety of magic trinkets. There's something for everyone here. Okay, let's look around. Um, first, some herbs. Because, oh my god, do I need some herbs. Ooh. Regeneration. I like that one. Mm. 
Okay, actually, I'm going to go now to Book Merchant. Let's see, do I have any ones I want? That one. Hmm. Hmm. This one. And that one. Okay. And then we'll go to the peddler. I want to see. Come and see for yourself. Buy some herbs and other goods I've brought for you from the woods. Okay. Ooh. I don't want to do that. Uh, let's just see the image. Okay. Allows to change plus one card with the trump one. Oh, okay. I don't care. Words heal two times more hearts. Okay. 20% of the says. Okay. Ooh, that could be really nice. Okay, I have 265. So I let me look at the most expensive ones first. Okay. 288. Can't afford that, but... Nope, thank you. Uh, 162. Okay. Hmm. You can ask five at the start of battle. Nah. I mean, that might be good, but... Spikes. Deal 5 damage on receiving... Oh! Um... I don't know if that counts as a ward, though. That one's one of the best ones. Maybe I should just get the ring. Hmm. Oh, that maybe it'd be better to do that. Turn start? Yes. All right. Gives three heart each round? That could be good, too. I might just get that one, though. Oh, what? Resistance to status, spell disease. What? Maybe I will get that. Okay, I get some of you of these. I did want this one, but I think I can live without it. And we have one, like a little bit left. Okay. Maybe I should save this and buy some. Okay, let me go buy some herbs now. Alright. Okay, I can't afford a lot, but... Why would I do this? Okay, I can't get that one, so let's see. So maybe this one. Oh, that could be good too. Hmm. Okay, so that maybe I get one of those. And okay, ward. I don't can't ward anyway, and I can't bless. So I already got one of those. All right. 
right, well, I'll just go for that one. When I can buy this and that. All right, I'm poor now. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go to Vilgort. Should visit the Ab and ask him the Abbe and ask him some questions about this case. Okay, we're getting visiting the Abbe. Abbe. Oh, Vasya, Igor Yevlampovich, you came. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what to do. I've read all the prayers I know. <sighs> I haven't seen such horrors in years. Who oh. have done something like that to animals? No less than a monster. Sheesh. All right. Tell me where you found the animal. In the old chapel. In the cemetery. Hardly anyone visits there. And even fewer now. Okay. So it's still there. By the altar. Was it... Like, carved up on the altar? What is this scourge upon our yest? What devil tortures us? Lord, forgive us. Hmm. Have you noticed anything else unusual? Well, people are scared to go to the cemetery. It's haunted. I mean, in general, a lot of people are scared to go to the cemetery anyway. That's not really unusual. We were about to ask you for help, but I assured them that you would drop by soon enough. Yeah. And the chapel. the chapel the cow was killed in. Scorsi? Well, in the church cemetery. Something was amiss there long before this happened. Strange knocking and scratching. Hmm. It sounded as if it were coming from beneath the ground. Oh, okay. That's why folk rarely go there. Oh, well, let's All do right. this. We'll see what demon you have over there. Let's in go see the a demon. Time, find the payment in the church bins. He's old, you're good. Mr. Sure, Gory Blompevich. I'll do that. Cramps, you rough man. Rough. All right. Vilgort Cemetery. Everyone from Vilgort is buried here. At one time, it was reserved for people, but now there are dead animals here, too. Spooky. It's cute. And the light's on. Okay. I guess old Yugor's in there. Grief. The inhabitants of Vilgort are buried here. Almost all of them. Oh, except for my honey bunny. My honey. We stay away from toxic mushrooms like fly agaric and death cap, as well as we as any we can't identify. I wish there was someone to teach us. Oh, I can waste somebody. I mean, mycologists. Uh, Kuloko Orb. Okay. I think I've already gotten that. The chapel. What a strange chapel. I will enter after I get this other herb. Look at it. It's right there. Ooh. Is this... Is there anything else out here? I feel like there has to be. Something I missed. Like, these look like maybe they're tracks that I should look at more closely, but I'm not positive. No, I mean, they're just bird tracks. Yeah, well, maybe not. Hm. Well, they didn't pop up, so... Ugh. Got it. I mean, it looks just like an animal got to it, but okay. Oh, there's the tracks leaving, too. Bird monster. Maybe some kind of a harpy or something? Wait, what's the rope? Old ropes, no blood on them. Uh Jesus Christ! Oh you don't need to look at this. That's fine. I will deal with the animal and you look around. Try to find some clues. What kind of demon are we dealing with here? Okay, well I mean I already found those. Jesus, who would do this with a cow? I could have s Scalp's blood on the icons. Okay. Am I missing anything else? I've already seen these. I saw the cow. I saw the rope. Oh, there we go. 
You notice strange, Str bloody tracks, as if human tracks got mixed with that of a bird. Okay. I already looked at the cow. Oh, I, I forget. I keep forgetting that I can double click on these things. They're still strong. Okay. Have you looked around? I have looked around. Discuss the clues. I've already looked around. Here. Yeah. And I found some tracks here. Nice. Ha, bird ones. The spirit is trying to confuse us. What okay. do you think? These aren't bird tracks. There are pieces of broken bones poking through. Okay. I respected the cow. The demon tore it with claws and teeth. That's clear as day. Mm -hmm. But here's a hint. I found iron shavings in the bones. Oh. I don't like this, Vasya. Mm. Let's try to open up the old tracks. Wait while I whisper over your discoveries. Okay. Deeper inside the Vilgut Cemetery. Yeah. Let's follow it. I, I guess had we're going. A feeling the other day. A bad omen this find. Uh oh. Well, let's follow him. Wait, did, I, did was there more to this demon blood? They'll still clear this chapter for a long time. Okay. Oh, there's more tracks over that way. Uh you notice strange bloody tracks. Okay, let's go. And they're right here. I knew it. Stroud. Oh. I didn't see this before. You find the bloody piece of a shroud. Hmm. You pick it up, but it crumbles in your fingers as if it has been lying here for decades. One of the bodies get up and walk? Okay. Am I missing anything else before I head on? Because that those tracks are going kind of weird. Is it right here, too? Hmm. Okay, let's go. Farther in. In we go. Just going back. Coffin. Do I, can I talk to you, old God? No? Is there anything else around here to look at before I go in? Because this place really does tend to give you hints. Nope, I don't see anything. All right. Well, I found the piece of shroud. The Let's go look at it. The ruined graves stand frozen in silence. You look down. The black hole leads deep underground. A name half erased can still be read. Prokopi. Uh oh. That scrimps. Um. Yeah. Maybe he's cursed beyond the grave. <gasps> Maybe he became an eretnik. Yeah, I bet he did. I bet he became an eretnik. Where did my... There's my lip gloss. Okay. <laughs> my lips are feeling a little bit. Okay. So now we've... I mean, we were just talking about Eretnik, so... <laughs> I knew it. Yep. You hold up the swaying, Yegor. Oh. I was young and experienced. It didn't completely disable him. The cursed Yeritnik broke free. Mm -hmm. I figured it out as soon as I saw the cow. Your family had a similar cow long ago. Oh, did Brooke kill my family? He left that gift for me to find. Oh, well, mm. we'll have to drive him back. Yep. My study was not in vain. We'll do it together. I do saw it. a rope in the church. We'll need to climb down into his lair. All right. Let's go down. Oh. That's fascinating. Okay, so we're down into the Arithmetic's realm. You! Yegorka, <laughs> we meet again. Mm. Why have you come? 
It can be to bring an offering to you, old Peter, can it? I mean, from what I understand, you tried to kill him. Would you look at that? Dark hair, fair skin, and fearless. Just how I like them. Wow! Thanks, dude. Don't bring her here and get lost. No, I'm gonna kick your ass now, cuz... Uh-uh. Do I look like an offering to you? You know nothing about us, demon. <laughs> no, girl. It's you who knows nothing about us. Isn't that right, Yagorka? Gramps, did you sugarcoat some things? I thought you well. You're the same as me. Hmm. How did you survive here? I mean, he's he didn't. He's dead. You're very young, Yagor. Inexperienced. Didn't know how to kill me. And now it's too late. I mean, I can kill you. I couldn't get out of my coffin for a long time. Your holy man knew what he was doing, unlike you. Okay. But don't fret. You lived a long life. Look at you now. So old. Pathetic. Dude. Dude, I don't... I don't really know if you have a lot of room to talk. Do you... Can you... I mean, I guess there's no mirrors down here. He hasn't seen himself for a while. Even I look better. I haven't aged a minute for the past 30 years. Uh... Look at my palace. Truly a sight to behold. Is it mm -hmm. not? Sure, dude. Yeah. Um, definitely. It's, it's real nice. Yeah. How did you build all of this? Hey. Simple. My teeth and nails... Turned to iron over time. They were indeed pleasant tools to work with. I mean, you don't have a lot left, sir. As soon as my name got washed off of the coffin, the prayers stopped holding me down. Oh, so... Hence the need for tombstones and such. Isn't it funny? You shall perish with your girl in my grave. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. I like. see you and Grandpa are alike. Don't you dare to compare us, Prakoti. Mm. Oh, how could I? You are so kind. Yegorka the kind. Uh -huh. Aren't you the one who sent his charts to kill me in my sleep? Weren't you the one who took my charts? Well, you kind of started it, oh, sir. Oh, but aren't they on your shoulder as we speak? Yeah, I yeah. Didn't kill any children. Yeah, I killed the one who killed children. True, but what about other scenes? What is this stick? Is it made from the same horn as my ancient rod? But mm. what do I hear? Could it be the voice of my old chart? Oh, really? The demon told uh -oh. me everything. Oh, whatever they whispered to you. Whatever they advised to you at the end of your miserable life. Okay. Let's fight. Enough of you, demon. Let's fight. I didn't know how to destroy you then, but now I do. All we right. can't overcome two Kaldoons, Prakopi. I've been waiting for this over 40 years. Don't underestimate me. But you did. Oh, his arm is tied up because it's going to fall off otherwise. <laughs> okay, you're about to battle with another Kordun. Kordun's also weave their Zagavors and use pages. The one who makes a Zagavor out of fewer pages, excluding firm pages and gestures, goes first. A hostile Kordun may read his spell before you. You have to choose between reading a longer Zagavor and allowing your enemy, who might make a shorter and weaker Zagavor, go first in the round. Ooh. Hmm. Here we go. Six, six, thirty-three. Okay, so he did three, so I need to do two. Fight. 
Okay. Oh, he's tough as hell. Let me... Oh, I... it's a battle puzzle. Okay, so this one's going to be a puzzle. This one might be one I have to trim, then. Okay, that's not so bad, though. Uh, how much? Six? I don't want to... We'll move pages from the book to the end of the battle. Okay, so I have to sacrifice for this one. He has only have 25 health. Let's see. I can take 12 damage. If I set up all my firms... How many sacrifices am I going to make, though? Four. Five, six, seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, plus twelve. That is a big chunk, but... Ten. I can do it. I can let him take a hit first. What? Wait a second. What? What is this? Okay, well, maybe I do have to do less words, then. Let's try that way. Does he not have to hit me at all? I'm so confused. Do I have to take damage? Oh, I should have used him. Oh, jeez. Ah. Uh, we'll say decomposure. That counts as a gesture. Oh, wait. Uh, not yet. Uh... Oh, so that doesn't count, right? Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go through it one more time. I think I have to double his waist. Okay. Okay. Let's get 24. Double his waist. Firm. Because firms don't count. Oh, wait, do they? Okay, so yeah, that doesn't count. So I need one more. Stop that. Can he not hit me at all? He should be able to hit me, right? Okay, yeah. He'll die next turn then, no matter what I do. Okay. Yeah, and he'll die this turn. Perfect. Let's just go. Screw you, dude. Doesn't matter, because I got wastes. Cool. Maybe I didn't do it perfect, but... Swipe, double that, and sacrifice three. I'm gonna use the circle again. Now he's going to hell for sure. Yes. Quick, remember what you need to do? 
Uh, nope, not at all, but let's do it. So, how do I dispose of the wrestler's dead so that it is certain he passes to the afterlife? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, here we go. Kuldun's soul. There we go. A Kuldun's soul is heavy with sin, so it is unable to rise to heaven. To make things easier, the ceiling and roof above the deceased are dismantled. The prime beam is cut, and the stove is opened. But even then, the sin-burdened soul is unable to cross the border between worlds. Oftentimes, an aspen stake is driven into Kuldun's heart or his spine is severed between the third and fourth vertebrae. This was done to prevent the soul's return to the body and additional harm coming to people. So both of those things? Break the spine. The Arachnik's spine between his third and fourth vertebrae. Well done, Basha. That's how we'll do it. Okay. If I had been smarter then, it wouldn't be here now. Good. We dealt with it swiftly before it had the chance for mischief. Nice. Uh, staff. He said you have identical staffs. His oh yeah. was from a whore. I took it, added to my sins. Ah, okay. He also obtained one for himself, made out of moose horn. Oh. You need to take this one, of course, if you don't fear his retribution. Ah. Huh. Should I? Will that increase my sins? You take Prokopi's old staff. Okay. Cool. You shorts. Have shorts left. I thought you'd give them all to me, along with the book. Mm. Almost all. Left some to myself. They have their uses, you see. Mm -hmm. I'll find use for them yet. Okay, okay. I mean, I don't care. I don't want any more. Please don't give me any more. My God. Let's do with Prokopi, Grandpa. Let's this. <laughs> Fine. He could rise at any moment. Demonic force. Pull. You neutralize Prokopi, and the Chorts help to cover his grave with dirt. There is now a crater in place of a grave. You've seen similar during your travels. Were they the result of unclean dead like this? Oh. Visma. <laughs> All right. Well. I feel that um, we just did uh, old Yugor's thing. So I'm guessing he's going to get a little power up, which be nice. Um, but he like do brushes. I'm guessing that's going to do with his memories. Or, sorry, sketchy. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for now. Um, that was a lot of fun. I, I'm glad we took a little side adventure. Because I'm a little apprehensive about what we're having to do for the Valkul. And <laughs> meeting up uh, with Paho about his daughter. That's going to be an interesting meeting. Hey, did you promise your daughter to the Valkul? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, ah, that's it for today. And see you guys later. It's a little shorter today, but mm, nice. Bye. Scrub us out.